we're going to try the lucky shamrock lure today for some pike and smallmouth. We'll see what happens. Here's a lucky shamrock uh, spinner I'm going to use for pike in the river. It's a little one. There's the lucky shamrock rock bass. There's another lucky lucky shamrock pike. Not the biggest one in the world, but it's something. A baby smallmouth with a lucky shamrock. A little bigger pike with that with a lucky shamrock. Mark that a pike here. I'll hold it here. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ah, come on. This is on the uh, lucky the lucky shamrock lure. There we go. Hey there. The lucky shamrock lure works. It's bigger than I thought. It's a heavy ass fish. Yeah, it's a smallie. Another smallmouth on the Another smallmouth on the shamrock. Ah, look, he's got, there's another one for the shamrock, a perch. There's Alex, he's got a small mouth there. Another one, the high color today for that, um. Oh, it's a decent one. Yeah, it's decent, that's a decent one. The high color today for the um, lucky shamrock was the, the silver one, with the little hint of blue in it. And the larva. Look, there's another perch on the. Lucky Shamrock. Okay, well, this, the Shamrock lures compared to the maps, um, because uh, the hook's a little bit bigger on the maps, it gets snagged more. Um, the spinner is bigger, but it still is harder to control the depth on the maps. The Shamrock lure is easier to control the depth of the two spinners. It's a lighter lure. I can keep the thing right along the surface, almost like a buzz bait, which is perfect for the river here. Um, so we we did good today. I'd definitely say thumbs up for the shamrock lure. We only got one big pike, but it was uh, almost 90 degrees, so 